Skins Cup. Um, so Oka has played before against Vienna and Vienna lost. Oh. Uh, 8 0. Yep. Yeah, sorry. I just, I didn't. Just wanted to check the previous match. Now we are in. We see in blue the team from Vienna against Ege University here in white. Ege played a super nice match in the morning or in the, let's say, noon against uh, the Finnish team as who they lost 1 0 but had some really good chances to score. And let's see what they can do here. We see Hakan here, the captain with the number 10. Twisting around here, making some space and passing the ball then. So, the Turkish team playing quite physical. They did it. They can like uh, catching up with this with this style of playing. Let's see what Vienna is doing. Both teams are um, have played a couple of times each other, but we also know that Ege University, I think they have not been here last year. So, let's see which... Oh, here we see the That's referee. Hold it, is it holding? Yeah, it's holding. It's against the Turkish team here. The first warning, the first call from the referee for holding. Um, so it's a three throw against the Turkish team. So we have already one minute one minute blade here. We have uh, um Mehter Sok from Turkey um, writing something in Turkish which we can't translate because we don't speak any Turkish. I'm sorry for that. <coughs> uh, right now we have a counter attack from Vienna at the close corner of the Turkish basket, trying to set up an attack, getting in there, <coughs> getting uh, waves of players down there. We have a stolen defense from one of the Vienna players here, trying, but it was too late. He was seen too last. Now he's trying to um, make some space here around the basket. Was this a referee call? So the game yes. started a bit physically. We have two minutes played so far. There's a three throw against the Turkish team. The game started with a scrum here at the surface, so no clear scoring chances on both sides. Let's see a nice interception of number four, Osan Özdemir. Spring team back and now there's a quick attack of three players even is a, trying is has a good position here from the open side getting get the ball, the ball back and tries and great and attack. He did it. This was a nice ball. one to be honest. It was a really nice one because Grace they were intercepted every, the ball, yes. passed it, then he went to the basket, made a pass on the uh, on the close side, was waiting to receiving the ball back, and then he scored. This was great. Osan Özdemir with the 1-0 for Ege University, number 4. Now let's see what the, Austria, what uh, the, what the Vienna team can do here. You see that the Turkish team here, they're having a quite nice forechecking. I interviewed the, the Zurich team, they told me also the same, that they're playing super offensive, like you see always like three, four players trying to attack the ball leader here to get in ball possession. And this is also what we've seen here. After the goal, Vienna was allowed to start with the ball, but lost it in the middle of the field. And now we see again the Turkish team here in ball position, starting from the corner. Setting up a nice attack. Um, Positioning themselves oh, around the pattern. basket. Yeah, see see me, see me, Uzer, the goalkeeper here. Also trying to find out a bit about the strategy what both teams are doing here. But at least the first goal was the result of a very, very nice uh, like counter Setting attack. The basket. Yeah, like after the ball interception, starting with three players swimming on the other side of the goal. This is also a super nice one. This is also great, so the Turkish team here, they're jumping so in, attacking, is bringing in there, the ball back here, here we see number trying five. Trying to swim away Khan, the goalie. Khan Bari, Barichkoglu, who is here attacking from half level, I would say, so from the high level of the ring, of the basket. Was not successful at all, but quite dangerous, so we see here now, from this moment, after let's say five minutes, played. Almost five minutes, the Turkish team here is dominating here with one goal in lead and even 
starting with two good opportunities. Now the referee is coming to the surface. It's a free throw. He is free throw, giving some instructions to the deck referee. Yes, it's a really <laughs> nice, <laughs> tough game so far. Uh, Ego University is dominating this game. Vienna is struggling to get out of their defense past the Turkish players. <clears throat> now we have a three throw, but number nine is really managing. You see that to hold at off. least the first action was quite good to bring a bit pressure on the ball. And even here, this ball ball winning situation it was quite good. But the Turkish team is so close around the ball. Yeah, they're playing really nice to together. Yeah, they're attacking. So they have like always a majority of people around the ball. It makes it physical super hard to keep the ball possession when That's you're winning. That's a referee it. call again. But here's another holding. one. Another warning for holding. But now on the other side, there was a player holded without a ball, I guess. So it's a free throw for Ege now. We remember we had the first warning at the yes. almost first minute against you oh, for holding. So. Stolen defense position from Ege University, but he has also to quite leave. nice move from Hakan. You yes. see that he was sitting next to the basket, and from the moment the the, the free throw call came, he left the basket. It's also a nice, like say, tactical movement here to predict that you're planning to do something, but you're not doing it. You just want to keep the players Ooh, at the basket. Nicely recovered from Vienna player, yeah. um, moving towards. The other side, but he was stopped by some number 15. Who's number 15 in Vienna? Is it Thomas Deng? No, that's that's not the Vienna cheat. Vienna number 15 from Vienna. So number There's 15 Schneiderbauer. is Schneiderbauer. With three minutes left here in the first half. So far, we're still waiting for the real. For the first real big chance from Austria, Vienna, Turkey is doing a great job in terms of defending. And even here, this move, this attack is crazy. Semi here, Uzo Semi on the one hand side, passing to Hakan, and then he's bringing the ball back. But Vienna, he has great in their defense performances. This was super well defended. There was a dominance here around the basket from Turkey, but they could not success. That was holding without the ball, free throw for Vienna. Yeah, so we can see, we've seen here a lot of free throws in this match in comparison yes. to all the others I've seen before. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I saw There's some, a lot of uh, here. I saw some uh, uh, like this as well, and now, right now we have had a really nice uh, starting situation. Vienna yeah. defending really good, going towards the basket, now having a free throw, going over the corner, but swimming right into one of the Jäger players, trying to pass him. Uh, right now we have see the referee. And ball possession goes to Ege University. 13. Asrak Fatih here starting with the attack and now you're giving the pass with a blind pass on the backhand side. Five. Ooh, Number five. Khan Barigucci will give a blind pass. This was also behind the back pass. Super nice, super successful, super efficient. But in this, this situation to could a not lot from the open side. The yeah. At least. The Turkish team is a bit more, or putting a bit more effort in their attacks. At least Vienna is able to defend it quite nice. But it's also, a bit, it looks a bit unstructured. You see it here? That they're struggling a bit. There are a lot of gaps. They're, they're changing here in the certain positions, so the specific positions. Not super clear, not super professional. So there's a bit of lag. Maybe it's a matter of, of brief, a matter of, of stamina, or it's just really the power this massive power they're putting in. We see the player on the surface hiding the ball behind his back, but he's not having the ball, so they're like confusing the players. This is a typical Turkish game style here, playing with the ball. But and oh, they lost Vienna it. recovered it, but he's Sometimes alone passing. Sometimes playing the match is not that good. It was Kalsch, Neuteufel, Matthias, who was here stopping the Turkish tricks now and uh, receiving or like catching the ball, bringing his team back. But Ball position get back to Austria, Ege University. Vienna is not able here to make like two, three straight safe passes to keep the ball control. They're losing the ball too quick unfortunately. There were two less situation. people down there. They yeah. weren't accompanying each other. They were like really being alone here. 
And right now they're trying yeah. another attack at university. Like you always see somebody on the open side of the basket and somebody on the close side, so uh, you can pass either way. But now defense stole away the ball, trying to pass the middle line, but were stopped and slowed down by three players. And right now we have half time of game 14 here, where champions come transmitting live from Berlin. We have in blue uh, the Vienna team UWRC Wien and on white Ege University from Austria. From Turkey. Uh, Turkey, Turkey, Izmir. Which is Izmir. From Izmir in Turkey. Yeah. Yes. So there's the score. It's one zero after the first half. We have seen a very physical match, uh, mainly dominated by the Turkish team. They put more effort in, in scoring. They even Succeeded with one goal. It was scored by. I don't remember. I didn't. Part, I didn't see. Five. We see it, but <coughs> we saw at the end of the first half. We saw a quite more strong um, Vienna team trying to yep. go out there, really trying to um, pass and go to towards the side. Yeah. But they so far haven't done anything dangerous at the. Uh, Egger basket, they were really s stopped by them in the middle of the field. Physicality, I think physically the Egger players are stronger. It seems like those so let's wait what the Vienna team is doing right now. Of course, the game is not over yet, there are still yes. 10 minutes left. We know that also this team is super experienced. A lot of the Vienna, so. The majority of the Vienna team has also played in Graz at the World Championship. Yeah, um, and the most. Yeah. Let's see if they can, if they can come back here. If you know, looking at them, they may be making some changes. They have in more, they brought more than 12 players, so they have like uh, substitution players. And now they are coming in. Hopefully with new ideas and new power, let's see what they can do, if they can also bring the Turkish team or starting to bring the Turkish team a struggle. Forty-five seconds left here, we have seen uh, one goal made by the Turkish team Ege University from Izmir. Right now it's the 40th game of this tournament, here is the Champions Cup in Berlin and now the Vienna team is getting ready as well, there are 25 seconds left and then it's being back here. So we have a question in live chat when the <coughs> cuando juegan los hombres de, de Colombia, los Ocas, eh, realmente yo no lo sé, tú los, eh, do you know when they're playing Ocas men? Tomorrow morning, 8.30. Eh, mañana, eh, por la mañana a las ocho y media de la mañana en eh, Alemania, no sé qué hora va a ser en Colombia. So we are back, half time, second half time starts, really fast start, but egg players are eh, faster, getting really strong to the... Quite quick, you see that there yes. After winning the ball, and this this is also super typical, they're making this double pass. That one yep. player in the center was right now number five, um, Khan, who was just sitting at like, let's say, two meters in front of the basket. And he's yes. like passing the ball on the right-hand side. Then he was receiving the ball back and putting it on the other side as well. This is rising some, some gaps in the, in the Vienna or in, in certain defenses. Mm -hmm. Here right now they're trying to, to push the ball or to pass the ball under the defender, but it was like sticking in his, let's say, wrists and he could like catch the ball out. Now the goal is not really well defended here. We see here number nine having the first good attack, but the goalkeeper was also like pulling his arms yeah. a bit so straight against the wall. I'm not sure if this was really super nice defended, but it was Umit Filis who was here not able to score his fault to, the, uh, to make the score for the 2-0. Right now we here. see a uh, scrum at the surface, so we see or we saw a much better performance from um, Uwe Zewin, from the Vienna team, uh, trying to push the scrum all right now to egg a thing. But we're lacking one, one uh, Vienna playing um, underneath the scrum, which is now they're coming here, because in case the ball drops, they can catch it and go towards the opponent's goal, but we are in white ball possession again. Egge now University. we have seen here the ball stolen by Simi Oeser. 
ended in a goal. Hakan, who finally, Hakan Toga, who finally scored here, was the captain, probably, or was it? Yeah, it was Hakan, yeah, who scored the 2-0. This was also a very well yes. done game style. You have seen, like, there was a scrum in the center. The goalkeeper, it was the same from Ege. He used, not, uh, used the chance here to steal the Yenna basket, and then it was Hakan, the captain, Hakan Togar, who has Take seen on. the opportunity and made a fast sprint to the other side of the basket of the pool and pulled it in into the basket. 2-0 lead here right now for Ege University against UBRZ Vienna. Like um, Ege University, for example, um, the men's team didn't come to the World Championship this year, um, but Ege University is playing uh, EuroLeague, so they are quite some experienced players, but uh, Wien is also trying to get every opportunity to play. So they also have um, they played in Kroat as well, home home country. Uh, for the Austrians, you have the referee call now. <laughs> roughing like for hitting and roughing game against Aggie University. We are in the second half, a 2-0 lead. Now we can see here number. Six from Vienna with the ball at the surface. It's not a team list. Hmm? Uh, and um, there, will this, will we see you now? Probably you now the first real proper attack from Vienna. We're still missing the first really good chance here to score, but now it looks more comfortable for them. Now they're super close to the basket now here, fighting trying to bring the ball towards the goal it's and here you see also like the Turkish team here the Ege is a bit more defensive quite they're improved they're not attacking that much they're more focusing at their basket there's a lot of space for Vienna right now to play around so they have space they can make the passes so far it looks super good they're starting to organize themselves. You can see here all the way off a, a, a Vienna player here being waiting on the open side, waiting for the pass. Like let's say the kill pass. But it is it missed so far, so there was no And now we see here again Onur Jelan bring the ball on the other side of the pool here passing to Okur Okur Jelan. It's a his brother, call. Two brothers here playing. Attacking the mask, so it's a free throw yeah, for Vienna. One, we have a lot of free throws here. Maybe mm -hmm. that the referees see that also when you see some some. Uh, if you see some of this. Yeah. And now we see here. Again, a free throw. It was for Vienna. There are four minutes fifty left in this game. That's and right. after the two zero, I don't know if if there are more like result oriented playing the the Turkish team or if it's just Vienna who are rising up their efforts. But we more often see in Vienna than on the opponent goals that we do like the Turkish. But here's a nice attack then from the Turkish team. And even here, this pattern is super nice, and this was well, a goal. well made here by Themi Uzer, who here, like, was in this Merle position. So he was with his stomach, with his with his breast in front of the basket, like, circling around, receiving the ball from the one right side, and from the other side of the basket, he was just dropping the ball in. This is super, super, like, let's say, you need to be quite technical, focused, to make such a move and you need to be very well like um, experienced to do this in, in, in on such a tournament so this was quite well done by Simi Uzer the same player who has stolen the basket at the goal before so he's also like you can say almost from my point here maybe the player of the match so far with his like assist for the 2-0 and the, uh, even his execution for the 3-0 so let's see what Vienna could do here because we're still missing the first big scoring chance for Vienna and let's say three minutes 
and 20 seconds left here in the first half. Vienna is doing a good job. At least they're playing quite good, even in the defense. Nevertheless, Ege is more physical and yeah. more efficient in their game starts. I wouldn't say more efficient. Pattern. They're just more um, physical. They're getting there. Um, the <clears throat> we saw also some really nice technical attacks from Vienna. Uh, breaking through, but I think they're getting tired. Um, it's two minutes, 40 seconds left, and then we have another ref. We have also another, a lot of ref calls, and this is also sure. disturbing the game, so I yeah. think it depends. So Sometimes it might be even useful to give you just a, just a call in matters of uh, just to... Um, give it, you know, like, like call a time plan. And now there's the referee coming up, it's Bob, who's now arguing or instru instructing the deck referee Manuel so we see here the referees being at the surface and there's a timeout for Vienna so this is the reason the players are each team has to go to his side and you see here very untypical that there's a timeout but the Turkish team is not coming together they're still sitting on the bench, they're just taking the time to breathe. They don't have any reasons to come together and to sit. The other team has taken the time out, so there's one minute break. And they're coming together to discuss. Yes. And even this is the opportunity for the other time. Just I have not breathe. seen a lot of teams like doing this, like saying, okay, let's say, come on, there are three minutes. And we have three goals and, 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 and one, so it's three goals in front. There are just a couple of minutes left, two and a half. It's easy for us. We don't need to talk about it. At least almost every team is just sitting together and just even if it's just a short chat but they didn't do it and just to Crazy. get some air as well just to breathe so just chilled relax sitting there around briefing it's like it seems like they everyone knows what he needs to do so, so here's also quite nice we've seen the vienna player here waiting for ekin to pass the ball and he was just taking his three seconds he has to execute this free throw and then he was waiting there the Vienna attacker coming up and then he passed through him. So you see they're very self-confident in the world of this Turkish team. They're yes. playing like relaxed and confident. Yeah. This makes it also quite hard for, for an opponent team here to get in the game or to score if you if you have such experience, like you have such a coolness in the water. But let's see, his game is not over yet. 90 seconds left here. And you see a There's a nice attack from attack the Vienna player. From Vienna, yeah. getting but it was one player. There. It was two alone. Let's say there was no one else here. He was just swimming all this way to the basket and there's no That's chance to, to pass it. A free throw for... Pushing at the basket. Yeah. So Vienna was here like... Uh, must be someone who was pushing the goalkeeper without a ball. He skips, skips the ball with the three throw in favor for Ege. And there we see last minute in the game. 3 0. Well played by both teams, but a bit, bit more game style, a bit more, let's say, team more play here from the Turkish team. Playing closer together. Yeah. It's like everybody has the fixed position on the yeah. water. On the open side, you always see number two of Ege University they moving They're really around. performing as a team here. And you see this coolness in water here, at least. Hakan was just playing around with the ball there. Such huge gaps here from the Vienna team. It looks super easy to say, okay, there's no player there. But of course, on the other side, it's super hard playing, like keeping this level, this staying underwater that long for two halves, like 20 minutes. It's not that easy, even with the, all these breaks here, these this, uh, interruptions we have during the game. Nevertheless, well played by both teams here. We have seen a fair match and, and a clear victory with 3-0 from Ege University here. Isnir is winning against Vienna in, this, in the 40th match of the day. And we are coming up next with... I don't... Uh, next game is a women's game. It's Black Mermaids from Sweden against... Can you read that? Is it... You? I'm not we sure. can't. We'll see, we'll we see can't. it in a minute. Yes. We have some handwriting notes here. At least we see any of the teams like 
Yeah, shaking hands, but of course makes sense. This was a super fair match. A bit frustration on the Vienna side, fully understandable. I think they did not played their best match today. I think they can do even better, at least on the offense line. Let's say there was a bit too less and even no re-scoring chance. And they were struggling to find the right way towards the basket. But yes. this is why they're maybe, maybe a bit frustrated. Nevertheless, here... The Turkish team from Izmir did a super brilliant job here. They played as a team. Nice passes, nice attitude. Yeah, very great performance here at the basket. And then they scored three goals. And I think player of the match was Ösa Semi, number one goalkeeper in Izmir, who was like uh, stealing the basket at the 2-0 so that Hakan Toga could just put the ball in, like, let's say, empty goal because he was lying, stealing the basket. And with his second, like his second performance, you can say so, is when he did the Merla. He received the ball from the one inside, brought it to the other side of the basket and put it in with the support of his legs. Well succeeded, well done. This is a hard exercise, not easy to do so, but he did. And uh, yeah, so he was, he was like assisting one goal and scoring another. And cool performance here. Next match. And I'm here with Lorena. Actually, you're here with what, what is left of me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are you tired or? No, I'm brain dead. Oh, brain dead. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, what's coming up. Uh, Black Mermaid Wien. And let's go and take a look at the um, teams. Let's see. The Black Mermaids from Sweden are number two. L Lia Kaiser, three Linda Carlson, four Antonia Hayon, six uh, Sinje Davison, thirteen Saga Blomberg, fourteen Ellen Strand, fifteen Victoria Isaacson, thirty-three Eva Eriksson, eighty-three Erika Lindstrom, and ninety-nine Mahiri Price. And what about Wien, Dawson? We can see the team from Vienna in white. And let me introduce the team. It's number 9, Ulrike Janowski. Number 18, Sabrina Scheuer. 23, Magdalena Wölzel. 26, Jacqueline Hayes. 29, Sophie Bartenstein. 32, Stephanie Pop. 36, Elisabeth Schwarz. 37, Denise Schmutz. 44, Daniela Neunteufel. 52, Teresa Vian. 64 Doris Neuberger, 70 Monika Spüttel, 77 Sabine Führer and last but not least 30, 93 Nausika Decker. And here we are in the match, Sweden against Vienna. Sweden is from which city are? Black Mermaid. Black are Sweden. From? Yeah, but where? Which city in Sweden? Where? Uh, I think Estocolm. Estocolm, all right. Right. So I mean, Estocolm play... against Vienna. If it's wrong in the chat, just let us Please. Just leave us yep. a note. Feedback. <coughs> Both teams have already played today. If I yes, yes, yes. I mean, they they played may, many times. Venus already um, three yep. times. We have seen Vienna winning Here, against Firenze. Then with they zero. lost against Langen. Yeah. Three and zero. now they are. This is a quarterfinals. And then Black Mermaid also played against Barcelona and won. <coughs> hey. um, then they play later against Orgas and they lost. And this is the third game of the day. So the third game of the day for both, for both teams.